What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and I sat here for a little bit and I was like, what do we talk about in today's YouTube video, right? Do we ramble on about some nonsensical topic once again or do we talk about some Fortnite news? And then I sat there and I was like, you know what? Why don't we talk about something I would never talk about on this channel, which is the most inconvenient, you know, minor inconvenience you could ever have with this game and one that doesn't really matter to 99% of the people watching this channel, which is the Battle Pass. And not only the Battle Pass, but purchasing the Battle Pass. So there's a few things to note here. Firstly, gifting the battle pass. This is a feature that exists in the game, and you know there's a lot of people you can gift the battle pass to. You have tons of people, right? Some people are not accepting gifts, but most of the time, due to the Fortnite crew, you'll never find anyone to gift the battle pass to, because basically everyone in this entire game has the Fortnite crew, right? They have this right here, which gives them the battle pass, it gives them the crew pack, it gives them a thousand V-Bucks, and it gives them the Rocket League pass. So it's like, there's no real reason to try gifting people, because the odds are the only way you'll beat someone to gifting them a battle pass is by gifting it to them before they can log in for a new season, before their Fortnite crew actually activates. And, you know, we're a few days before the new season, right? If we actually go here and look at the bottom left, you can see that the season lasts until June 9th at 2 a.m. Eastern Time, when downtime officially begins for Chapter 4 Season 3. But, something very interesting is the fact that gifting the Battle Pass is something you're still able to do, however, towards the end of every single season, it gets disabled. And Battle Pass gifting will be getting disabled June 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So, on June 7th, you know, at Item Shop Reset, if there's something in the, uh, you know, Battle Pass that you wanted to gift to an alt account, or, you know, a friend or something you just have to not have the battle pass you won't be able to because after that date it's like hey look we got two to three days left of the season there's no way that if you gift someone it they'll be able to make the most bang out of their buck for it so we're just not gonna let you gift it right and you know that's a typical normal thing for epic games to do however where it gets interesting is the magical world of buying the battle pass for yourself or buying levels for yourself you know something that shouldn't be an issue you know epic games is going to typically have a battle pass that you're able to purchase and everything however it appears that as they're getting closer to the end of the season and as you know they're setting up all the finalized rewards and everything and making it so that you know it's like oh hey you know if you missed out on a reward or something you know you missed out on it because a new season began it appears that they somehow bugged buying the battle pass so if you don't own the battle pass already there's a chance when you go to buy it it errors on you telling you that you can't purchase it for whatever reason and then there's also a bug that is making it so you can't buy tiers so let's say you're on the bonus rewards right and you have enough tiers left that you can purchase in order Order to max this out you know get mega wave mizuki or whatever and let's say you want to purchase that right because you're like you know what i don't really feel like playing out the season and grinding the final few days to potentially get it so let me just go ahead and go through it now there's a chance that when you go to purchase those tiers it doesn't take your v bucks but it errors out on you telling you that you can't do it and epic games you know posted on the fortnite status account being like hey we're aware of the issue you know we're looking into it hopefully things will be fixed soon but in reality do i think they'll fix it no i think what's going to end up happening here is that it's just going to be a situation Situation because of you know how they've handled stuff before where it's like did you not get the battle pass did you not grind out the tears in time you know we didn't fix it before the season ended so you know what you know you're just kind of out of luck you can't get those tears or whatever now of course that is kind of you know the downside of me thinking about stuff right and that's a little bit of a bad area to think about but I do think that they could fix this soon right I do think that they'll definitely end up fixing it because they don't want to cheat players out of rewards but it is a situation that we've seen before where I'm pretty sure as far as I can remember Epic Games never ended up fixing, and then the Battle Pass just kind of ended, everyone forgot about it, and moved on with their days. And you know what? I guess I'm tonight's biggest loser. I guess today's video does not matter at all, because as I was recording it, Epic Games has just fixed an issue that prevented players from purchasing the Battle Pass, gifting the Battle Pass to friends, and purchasing Battle Pass levels. So the past four minutes? Not needed at all, right? You know, I, but I recorded the video. We're going to keep on going at this point. So let's go ahead and shift gears a little bit to reaffirming you guys that, you know, the Battle Pass gifting will be disabled June 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you were having issues where you're unable to buy a Battle Pass for yourself, gift it to other people, or even issues where you're unable to buy tiers, you can do that from now until the end of the season. Or, you know, with gifting being disabled a little bit earlier than normal. But other than that, that, wants, that makes me want to talk about just, you know, the whole entire issues as a whole and you know this whole entire weird oddity of a system right because when it comes to bugs and stuff like you know the battle pass they managed to fix that bug in under seven hours this time around right they fixed it in basically seven hours whereas stuff like you know the whole entire uh i guess you know game itself you know there will be issues like when we had the kinetic blade which i can safely talk about now because it's disabled having a glitch where you could disconnect your ethernet cord from wi-fi go and run around eliminate some players you know slash them with the blade and then reconnect wi-fi and it would eliminate them no matter how 
how far away they were from you, that took a while for them to patch, right? That took multiple days, and I think it even took like a week or two before they actually, you know what, yeah, they originally disabled it only in tournaments, and then like a week later, you know, the bug was still going around, they finally disabled it in the normal game modes and in the ranked game modes, so it's a weird situation where it's like, you know, a game-breaking bug that, sure, you know, a lot of people weren't actually going to run into because of the fact that, you know, it required you to disconnect yourself from internet and, you know, try not to get disconnected from the game entirely while you're running around, you know, slashing people to Kinetic Blade. That was pretty prevalent, and, you know, a lot of people were actively abusing that bug and stuff, and it got to a point where it was all over Twitter, and even after it was all over Twitter and basically everyone knew about it, it took them a while to fix it, right? Meanwhile, this whole entire situation with the Battle Pass... It took them under seven hours. And, you know, I guess I can understand, you know, one of the things just causes for an unfair experience in the game, while the other causes Epic Games to potentially lose out on extra money from people trying to complete their pass at the very last minute. So I can understand why they might want to focus on fixing the battle pass first, but it still is an interesting situation to see, where it's like one thing took a long time and, you know, was annoying if you ended up running into it because it was basically cheating. It was exploiting in the game even without, you know, using external, like, external hacked clients or anything like that. So, you know, it was a little bit of, like, a cheat that kind of just went under the radar or whatever for a little bit of time. Meanwhile, something that, you know, allowed people to not purchase the Battle Pass stayed for a little bit, right? It, it stayed for a little bit and quickly got fixed so shortly after it was posted on Twitter and people started finding out about it. Now, something I also want to mention is that when they fixed the battle pass and everything, I saw a comment on their Twitter account that said, bring back the swords, y'all could have had a hotfix update to easily fix the swords with the internet glitch and remove ODM gear. Now, firstly, I don't see why they would remove ODM gear, you know, that's something that has been here for the whole season, I mean, Aaron is literally in the battle pass, so you know, it doesn't make sense for them to remove that, but regarding the whole entire, a hotfix update could easily fix anything, not always, right? You know, there could be some fixes and stuff they can do without pushing an entire update to the game, but there's also some bugs and stuff that happened to the game, such as, you know, the sword one, which I don't believe could just be fixed by, you know, switching a number in a config file or something and, you know, just pushing that live as a hotfix. They might be able to do a little bit more through, like, a server update or something like that, but I feel like with the way the actual kinetic blades were coded would be something that, you know, you can't just fix with a hotfix, right? You know, it's nothing that simple, but I just wanted to kind of mention that because I saw that in a comment on the post about the whole entire Battle Pass system being fixed. But with that said, I want to know, what level are you currently in Fortnite? Are you level 1 million? Are you level 2? Are you someone who has just reached level 200 and decided to play other games while waiting for the new season? Personally, for me, I'm level 411. That is with a lot of, like, save the world grinding, you know, a lot of playing creative maps and all that stuff. So, you know, I've been having a little bit of a hybrid experience, but yeah, you know, I'm currently level 400 in the game and with that said, I'm excited for the new season, right? I'm ready to buy a new battle pass, and, you know, depending on what cosmetics are in there, maybe I'll end up giving Epic Games all of my money again to get tier 100 day one, but, you know, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm ready to move on to the new season. I think it's going to be a fun little experience for everyone, and, you know, especially seeing some of the leaks and stuff, which I won't talk about in this video, of course. There's videos out there if you want to hear about it. I even made a video of my own talking about the leaks and stuff prior to this, but, you know, with all the leaks and stuff coming out regarding the new season and seeing the little bit of hype ups and everything, it's going to be a nice little fun time to have in the game and the only question I really would have you know that's kind of making me concerned about the next update is the fact that in terms of like teasers and stuff right you know the only teaser we got wasn't even on their Twitter account or anything as of yet the only teaser we got was in the in-game news feed which was like June 9th new season thumbs up that's it right and it was just the exact same background that we saw with the actual like battle pass image that I got posted a little bit early so it makes me wonder if they're going to be doing any teasers at all, you know, are they just going to kind of shadow drop the update and everything, even though we kind of already have leaks and everything that shows us cosmetics on there, what did they originally plan to do for the teasers this season? Were they going to have some hype up stuff in the final few days leading up to the new season, like they've done for previous seasons before, you know, like when we had the uh, alien season, we had actual teasers that showed a new weapon or whatever, kind of hovering in a UFO and just, you know, the mothership and everything, the hype up the new season, be like, here's a new item coming to the game and stuff like that, because that is something that they could still do right you know they could still tease the type of stuff because while we have leaks regarding you know some of the items some of the characters and some of that stuff there is a whole nother side of the new season that hasn't been leaked out yet that epic games could start teasing that way you know it's like hey we are still teasing things in some ways, but at the same time, we're not teasing stuff that had already been leaked out, so we just end up getting more and more information depending on what side of the world you happen to be on when it came to following Fortnite news. And look at that, DMR, DMR, DMR. I don't understand this Rift Encounter at all because like, it's, it's literally just the Cobra DMR and then uh, a way to heal yourself. I, I don't get it. It's been like this the entire season. 
it's been like this for multiple seasons, actually, I think, and I just don't understand why they're always just DMRs. But, of course, it's just been some random rambles to go on with the video. I know it kind of stretched out the length or whatever. You know, I need that extra ad revenue. <laughs> I'm such an evil person. Or whatever you want to call it. But I thought, you know, we're just, we're here to ramble. This is the channel where I just ramble about stuff, which is the same as basically every channel I run, all three of them. But at the same time, you know, you guys vibe with it, and there's a new season right around the corner, so to give you something to watch and just talk about, you know, I gotta think of topics off the top of my head all the time. So, this video was scuffed, but hey, if you watched this far, leave a comment down below with the keyword of jungle. If you put jungle in your actual comment, then I know you watched all the way to the end of the video, or you watched the first 30 seconds, skip to the final 30 seconds, and you're like, <laughs> I cheated the system. <laughs> or maybe you're some weirdo out there who took the whole entire video exported the mp4 file, went to some mp4 to transcription service, and pasted the whole entire video in there so you could just read what I said for the final, you know, like 11 minute video that I recorded today. And if you're one of those people, then, you know what, I just applaud your dedication. Bravo to you. But with that said, my name is Fire Monkey. I hope Jamson Jamets enjoyed today's YouTube video. I know a lot of it was just kind of me rambling. There, it was just really a scuffed video, to be completely honest here. But, you know, that's kind of the whole channel here. That's what we do all the time. Just some scuffed recordings that you guys enjoy from a Fortnite leaker who happens to know a thing or two about what's happening with the game. And with that said, I'm just going to peace out right here. So like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and peace out.